hey what's up guys welcome to javascript tutorial video series in today's tutorial i'm going to teach you the different ways of outputting the javascript actually there are four ways that you can output the javascript the first one is writing to the browser window that one can be done with the help of the method name called document.write the second way is writing to the html element that one can be done with a method name called inner html and then the third one is using the dialog boxes that one can be done with the use of the method name called alert and then the final one is we are going to use the console to output the javascript so that one can be done with the method name called console.log so let me teach you all these four methods with an example program for the better understanding now i'm going to open my text editor which was studio code i have the index.html file this is empty again i have the separate javascript file name called main.js again even this main.js is also empty so what i'm going to do now i'm going to create the basic boilerplate for the html let me create it so here i have the basic boilerplate for the html there is nothing just the basic boilerplate here uh, my javascript file there is nothing inside at the moment so as i said the first method that we are going to see to output the data is writing to the browser window with the help of the method name called document.write so what i'm going to do here in my text editor i'm going to my javascript file i'm going to create the variable a variable can be created with the help of uh, using three keywords we can use var as a keyword or you can use let as a keyword or you can use const as a keyword we are going to learn more about the variables in javascript in the future video as for now you should know we have to use the keyword as var or let or const anyone you can't just create a variable name without this keyword so in this example let me use the let as a keyword i'm going to create a variable here so name of the variable is uh, let's say my name so here i'm going to pass my name let's say alex is my name comma then i'm going to create another variable here i'm going to say my age equals let's say 32 is my age i hope things are clear right so still this 32 is an integer so i can just say 32 Right? not necessarily i have to put them in a double quotes when i put them in a double quotes it's going to be considered as a string not as an integer number now if i want to output this data into my web browser i'm going to use the document dot write method inside i'm going to pass this name of the variables to output the data so my when i say my age is going to display the let me save let me refresh my browser there is no output the reason is i have not included my javascript file into my html so let me include with the use of script source equals the name of the javascript file here main.js now let me save and refresh it should give me the age the age is 32 what if, if i want to print the name just to change the name of the variable because this is a variable that has the name right now it's outputting the alex so what if if i want to print both name and my age that one can be done name i need to first i'm going to print the name then i'm going to print the my age let me save them refresh it's going to print alex 32 there is no space in between if you want to bring the space put the space in between concatenate with the space in between so when you put this double quotes with a space is going to add the space alex32 right what if uh, if i want to print the message as my name is alex then my age is 32 that one can be done so we need to add the string in front so that string has to say my name is and then it's going to print this name comma space here i'm going to say my age is I need to concatenate that operator so let me save and refresh my name is alex my age is 32 what if if i want to print this my age into the next line that is simple that one can be done so here after printing my name i need to add the break 
uh, in between in order to bring that next statement to the next line so let me refresh so you see my name is alex my age is 32 so all i have done is i've added the break in between these two statements i hope things are clear now so is that a only way that i can print the details we can use the different methods as i said the first one is the document dot write method second one is inner html method so let us learn about the inner html method how we can output the data so before we learn that one i want to let you know another one thing here what i have done my name i have assigned the value my age i have assigned the values what if if i want to get the details from the user that one can be done in javascript there is a function name called prompt so it's going to give you the prompt box it's going to ask what is your name so here user is going to enter the name here even instead of assigning the value we are going to use the method as prompt we can ask the user to enter the age so what is your age let me save and refresh so there is a prompt box here asking me what is your name i'm going to enter my name as alex okay then the prompt box asked me again what is your age 32 when i click ok it's still going to give me the same result because of the document dot write method my name is alex and my age is 32 i hope everything is clear as for now now let us learn about the second method which is inner html how can we output the data into the html elements by using inner html right so for this example what i'm going to do i'm going to my index.html in the body section i'm going to create the h1 tag here i'm going to say uh, the person details right followed by i'm going to create the p tag this p tag is going to have an id let's say the name of the id is demo let me save so i'm going to my index dot main dot js because we have done with the document dot write method we have seen how to output the data now the next one is inner html right so now we are going to use inner html method to output the data so in order to do that what i am going to do i am going to use the method name as document dot get element by id inside the get element dot id i am going to my index dot html here i have the paragraph with the name called id demo but there is nothing in the paragraph as for now right so i'm going to target this paragraph with an id demo so i'm coming here in the single code or in the double code pass the name of the id so the name of the id is demo i'm going to use the method name as inner stmo so what does that mean so this property is going to take me to the HTMO and then it's going to identify with an ID name called demo then it's going to output the data into this particular part so what do you want to output here let's say equals I want to output uh, my name so what is my name here I'm going to enter the name my name let's say I'm going to enter my name plus my age okay so when I run this one what is going to happen what is your name is going to be alex then what is your age 22 when i click ok alex 22 would be printed in this particular paragraph i hope things are clear in case if i have something here uh, let's say uh, ranjan 22 right let me save and refresh so and then what i'm going to do i'm just going to remove this part i'm going to remove this part so let me save and refresh now so it's going to ask me a name i'm entering something age 22 something when i click ok nothing has happened the person details ranjan 22 where does these things come from from my index.htmo by using the inner.htmo not only you can able to output the data you can even able to change the actual html document so what is the actual html document here ranjan 22 right so when i use this get document dot get element by id the id name is demo dot inner html it's not only is going to assign the value it can have the power of changing the html document let's say here my name 
plus I'm going to add some space then my age so initially this is run gen 22 you will see when I run this program so let me save and run my name is I'm going to say Alex okay the age is 32 when I click OK now that particular name Ranjan 22 is being replaced with Alex 32 that is the power of this method init.html so this is the second way that you can output the data now we are going to learn about the third method which is using dialog boxes here we are going to use the method name as alert so what I'm going to do I'm going to my text editor again so let me comment these two parts here right so I just have my JavaScript file so in the main method let's say I'm going to use the method as alert so I'm going to use a method as alert here so if I wanna let me save and refresh click OK so refresh I'm going to enter my name Ranjan OK age 32 press OK is going to bring me the alert box with a message saying Ranjan 32 so when you use the alert is going to bring the result in the alert box so this is the third way and then the final way is using the console for that we are going to use the method name as console.log to be honest in order to run JavaScript technically there is a no need of two because all the modern day browsers has JavaScript engine inbuilt. So what do I mean to say all the modern day browsers has got JavaScript inbuilt functions in it. So let me do this. So here instead of alert, I'm going to say console log, right? When I refresh this one, I'm going to say Ranjan and then age is 22. When I click OK, there is no result. As I said, all these modern day browsers has got JavaScript function inbuilt. So how am I going to know that right click go to inspect here go to this console can you see the result now run gen 22 it's not necessarily you need to write the code here let me write the code here like 2 plus 3 it's going to give me the result as 5 let's say let name is equals to run gen then if I want to print that one what do I need to do document dot write function and then what do you want to print you want to print the name I mean the variable right hit enter Laranjan has come here and you see ah you can use the alert message let name is equals to Ranjan now I want to alert that variable name you see the Ranjan has been displayed as I said in order to run the JavaScript technically there is a no need of two because all the modern day browsers has a JavaScript engine in build. We don't need to use any other special tool. We can use the browser itself. You can just go to the console, type your codes too, you can able to perform. But usually we prefer to use some tools in order to run our code to make it look nice. But in case if you want to see what is happening behind the screen, it always a good practice to go to the browser, especially to the console. To inspect what is really happening I hope you have understood the four ways of outputting the JavaScript see you in the next tutorial video but if you have got any questions ask me through comment line and don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video thank you